look at this guys <laughs> hi everyone how are you all doing i hope you are well can you believe it i cannot it has been over a year since i posted my coming out video the scariest most intense video i'd ever posted in my life I have not been able to look back on it, I have not rewatched it, but today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update about what my life is like now compared to what it was like then and you know where we are, where we're all where we're all sitting right now. <laughs> also, if you're new to this channel and you found me via YouTube search. Welcome! My name is Chelsea. I am gay and <laughs> this is my lifestyle channel. I post a lot of things about lifestyle and feel-good content so if you like feeling good and positive vibes, click that shiny red subscribe button. It won't bite much. And from time to time I talk about my gay adventures and what has happened to me in my life. <laughs> So I have my computer here today because I wanted to make sure I had a bit of a structure. Hi! That's one new thing, isn't it? I now have two cats. Where did they come from? I don't know. They just walked in one day and I was like, okay. No, that's not true. They're rescued. <laughs> so the f <laughs> Wilfred is making me laugh. <laughs> the first point is how I feel. And to be honest with you, I feel so much like myself. I feel so great. A lot of you guys have been sending me countless messages, which I'll get to in a minute, but a lot of you guys have been sending me such amazing messages saying how you've noticed that there's been a change in me and how happy I seem. And I feel like I look so happy because I feel like I don't have to hide anything anymore. Like there are zero secrets. Like, you know what I mean? Everything just feels right and dandy in the world and that's really awesome. But it did take a long time for me to get here. And after I posted that video, I had just gone through a really tough time, you know, emotionally. But when I filmed the video, it kind of cleared up the air for a lot of people. However, it was really difficult for me with my family and although my family was fantastic and I'm talking about my extended family it was really awkward for me to see people after I posted that video. I don't live in Newfoundland but the majority of my family lives there and it is just my pride and joy. I love Newfoundland so much. I love telling everyone about Newfoundland. I love being a Newfoundlander. Um, but my first visit home after, well not my first visit home, I went home and visited my parents in April after that just for a couple of days and I just hung out with them the whole time and it was so so nice to just hang out and not think about anything else and not have any you know crazy talks or anything like that just hang out and it was so nice because it was the first time we had done that in over a year the next time i went back was for a longer period of time i think i was home for a week and it was really tricky for me to see you know people like my grandparents and certain members of my family who I hadn't seen yet. And you know what? I'm still going through that. I still haven't seen all of my family members since coming out. And every time I realize that I've seen them for the first time since then, I just, I don't know, I get really awkward. <laughs> And I feel like, because I feel like that's all they're thinking about, but they might not be thinking about it at all. That's just a mild insecurity of mine, you know, and I'm getting over that so quickly and I barely think about it anymore. It's really easy after you come out to think about, all, all you want to think about is, I'm gay and I'm open and everyone knows and I'm gay and everybody knows about it and ah. Now, I don't think about that anymore either. I just feel so at ease and so comfortable and I don't really care at all anymore. I just, I feel like because of my journey and because I've talked about it as I've gone through it, I, I think it's a really awesome vessel for me and it's an awesome way for me to share with you guys and to empower anybody else who might need a little bit of help, maybe not coming out, but in other aspects of their life. And I think that's really cool. And finding yourself at my age, I really had to go through that process. And I recently spoke to someone who um, was close to their 40s and they said, you know what, I'm a mom and I'm actually going through finding myself right now. And it feels late, but you're like always rediscovering yourself. And that is something that I've 
I want to talk about more and that I've realized a lot this past year. And it's nice to be able to share those connections with people who might be going through changes and kind of like, oh, I don't know who the frig I am. Who am I? <laughs> I did want to talk about all the messages I received from all of you. But what makes it really special is that every now and then I get a message on Instagram and my direct messages and someone tells me about their journey. And I've been doing a lot of Instagram lives and we've been chatting a whole lot about it and we've been giving each other advice and kind of helping each other through our weeks and it's been incredible. I know a lot of you guys by name now. If you want to join in our chats and like hang out with us, sometimes I cook, sometimes I talk about, you know, what I like at the moment. I Sometimes I get messages from you saying how much the videos have helped and how much the Instagram lives have helped. It's amazing. I respond or I try so hard to respond to every single one of your messages, especially when they are about your own journeys coming out. And I gotten some fantastic stories about dating and finding your first girlfriends. I get a lot of, a lot of gay gals, a lot of queer gals, not a lot of guys. It's been cool to read your journeys and sometimes it's really sad when talking about you know how friends have reacted in your lives and parents have reacted in your lives but I am here for every single one of you and it's incredible and I, I, I find it mind-blowing to think that one of my videos has helped you even just a little bit so it makes me so happy to think that and now I'm gonna cry ah I didn't want to this wasn't the crying video the last one was the crying video <laughs> Oh my. I'm really proud of so many of you and I've gotten some incredible messages from so many of you and uh, we're in, we're all in this together. How do I stop the tears from falling from my eyes? Moving on guys. Oh, okay. Yep. I also wanted to talk a little bit about um, mental health and how that has been. I had told you guys in the last video that I definitely <laughs> developed anxiety from past and previous events, but I did experience quite a bit of anxiety and it comes back every now and then, but I think I've really learned how to breathe through it. And because of my mental health, I have learned how to help other people. And that is incredibly valuable. And though you don't want to go through things like that and you don't want to experience things that don't feel great in your life or situations that just put you under a rock. It's amazing how far that brings you as a person and every single one of those experiences count and I don't know, because of that I feel like I'm a better person and a better friend and a better girlfriend and just a better, just a better person all around. I'm definitely more compassionate and that's really nice. I don't like it when I get anxiety. I think the last time I got anxiety was when a mailman told me off. <laughs> he didn't believe that I was Chelsea, that he was delivering something to me and he was like, this isn't you. And I was like, no, it is, it is me. It is though. And he was like, no. If you guys want me to talk more about anxiety, I definitely get a lot of texting anxiety. I'm sorry to all my friends who text me. <laughs> I get a lot of texting anxiety and email anxiety, but my email anxiety is not nearly as bad as it used to be. So that's cool. If you guys want me to do a video on how um, that kind of anxiety affects me, especially in the career that I'm in, um, and how I deal with it and what it feels like, let me know. I'd be happy to do a video like that because I feel like a lot more people deal with messaging anxiety than we think. My family, my family has been amazing. They're incredible support systems. They're uh, wonderful people. My sister is my best friend and I love her so much. She also got engaged. Everyone say, congratulations, Caitlin. <laughs> so Caitlin's now engaged to her incredible fiance. Couldn't ask for better. His name is Devin. He's amazing. They were both just phenomenal. And I don't know how I'll ever thank them enough. But they're amazing, understanding people. My parents have been there for me and my 
I know I did a video about my grandmother. She was definitely the best reaction. So if you want to read about that, <laughs> or I mean, oh, read. I've been writing a blog a lot lately. So whenever I talk about things, I feel like I'm like, if you want to read about it, check it out. <laughs> no, if you want to watch that, that'll be down below about my grandmother's reaction to me coming out. But also I feel so much more normal now than I did before. For a little while, I didn't feel normal. And that was weird for me because I've always been able to fit into, you know, my family. I've always been that person that was very excited to see my grandparents and very smiley and bubbly around my family members. And I just felt the utmost comfort around those people. So when I felt, you know, when I, I didn't quite feel like I fit in, it was a weird feeling, but that was all in my head. I know it was, <laughs> but now I just feel great and it's awesome. They're, I have an incredible family. They're so great. Before I get into the last part, I'm just going to do, at the end, I'm just going to do a couple little questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to give a little bit of coming out advice to anybody who may have clicked on this video and was wondering, you know, I really want to come out to my family, I'm really confused, and you're doing your research, because let me tell you, I have been there. So let me just give you a little bit of advice in case you are looking for a little more in your research. <laughs> so I think the best advice and the thing that everybody is going to tell you is to do it in your own time. Come out to the people in your life in your own time. And that is especially important when it comes to your safety. Not everybody has the same values or views, so you know the people in your life better than anybody else. So make sure that you feel safe and comfy. It's gonna be hard. So maybe it won't be hard for some of you. I've had friends who've had some pretty easy times coming out to their parents because their parents are like, yes, but I knew, I knew the whole time since you were a little boy. You know, it's not always like that for everybody else. Just be safe and know that it will be a little hard for quite a few of you, but after, you're going to feel so much more like yourself. You're going to feel like there's a weight lifted off of you. And that's when you're able to live your real life, regardless of what anybody else thinks. And remember that your life is your own and nobody else's. And it is the most important thing in the world. And you matter and you're special and you're very loved. I love you all so much and there are people out there who care. Afterwards, you know, if people don't accept you in your lives, that it's up to them. That's up to them to get over their own insecurities and, you know, maybe misinformed information. But you're able to live your best life then and you get to decide what that is. And you get to love who you want to love. And that's really cool. So if you're able to come out in a way that's easy for you. I know some friends of mine wrote letters to their parents and gave it to them. Some friends of mine wrote letters and read them out just because it was easier for them. They knew exactly what they were gonna say. Cause sometimes when you, it's like when you get up on stage and you have to just improvise, you know, you think it's easy. And then when you get up there, you're like, I don't remember what language I speak anymore. If you're really comfortable with the person coming out and just speaking to them, um, that's the way I tended to do it, but you know what? If I had my time back, I would totally write a letter. <laughs> and another way, if you feel like you can do this in your current life situation, is to just start being yourself. I know my girlfriend was able to go through, you know, her high school and university just by not explaining herself to anybody, and they just kind of figured it out over time. And then they, were, they already had a view on what she was like, and they were like, oh, okay, cool. That's fine. And maybe someday I'll get her on here and we can chat about how different our coming out scenarios were because they're very, very, very different. And that just comes to show that your story is probably gonna be different than so many other people's. But just know that you have the support out there and there are always people to talk to. And now I'm just gonna get to two questions on Instagram. I'm not gonna go too overboard, but if you wanna ask me questions in the comments down below, maybe I'll answer them in my next weekly vlog. That'd be cool if you have any other questions. Yeah, let me know in the comments. My first question is from Polly Little on Instagram and she asks, what is your top goal in life? My top goal in life is to share my life and hopefully create a positive environment on this platform because, you know, in this day and age, 
we need something that can be a little bit of an escape and hopefully when you guys finish watching my videos maybe you'll leave with a smile and except maybe not my coming out video maybe that one you'll leave with a little bit of a cry but that's okay but i would love to be able to grow this channel and put it out there in the world so that more people can come to this amazing family of ours because this is an incredible group. You guys are amazing. A lot of you guys even know each other from just chatting in the comments and chatting on my Instagram lives. It's amazing. So I would love to get the word out there to grow this channel um, and eventually down the line just continue to do creative work as a living that can create a positive impact on the world. I think that's amazing and I'm it's really cool that I'm able to do that and the last question is from evot08 on Instagram and she asks when can we meet your girlfriend a lot of you guys are wondering this in good time everybody it's more of a personal thing but we're really hoping to do some videos together in the future on this channel and see what you guys think and what you guys want to see and we've even talked about videos we want to do but you'll see her You'll see her soon. I'm sure of it. Sometime this year. <laughs> so stick around. Click that shiny red subscribe button. <laughs> then you'll be notified. Maybe. Maybe you'll be notified. Although I don't know. I don't know how YouTube works anymore. Regardless. Click that shiny red subscribe button to be notified in the future. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Ooh, I just wanted to put this in here quickly. If you guys didn't know, I have brand new merch! And it is called Pussy Willow, like the flower. And also because I have a cat named Willow. It was inspired by both. And it's kind of playing to the idea of being soft and strong, but mighty and beautiful and all the things that women and the LGBT community are and so many amazing people in this world. It's kind of got that cool symbolism behind it. So if you're interested in getting your very own Pussy Willow merch, it will be linked in the description bar down below. It's very, very cute if you want to check it out. <laughs>